Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 6.9 earthquake along the Kurilsk, Russia islands. This was along part of the North American plate. I've talked about in the past how the North American plate actually comes down and connects with the uh, northern part of Japan. Different reports on EMSE, it said it was very noticeable. Some dishes fell. Another report. Uh, it was shaking very hard for a long time. Furniture was staggering. Now that was 256 kilometers from the center of this earthquake. That was 159 miles from where it happened. In Chitose, Japan, it said uh, that the terminal building was gently swaying. 448 miles also in Japan, they said they felt like it was creating dizziness. 884 miles from the center of the earthquake there in Japan, it said that they felt the shaking on the fifth floor of the building. Low frequency shaking. On ANS USGS uh, earthquake thing, here you can see the earthquake across New Mexico, Aleutian Islands, Alaska, Oregon, uh, Texas, Hawaii, South Dakota, um, Arizona, Indiana. Yeah, it made the earth ring like a bell. Texas, Idaho, Virginia, another one for Oregon, Alabama, uh, Boulder Array in Wyoming. So what did it do for Yellowstone? Well, I don't know because the site still is not working properly. I turned it on and this is what I got for Gemesis, the um, um, swarm viewer. If I went back another two hours, yeah, just absolutely nothing on here. Yeah, this is day two that... Um, the earthquake monitoring for Yellowstone's not working. But this site for Pinedale, Wyoming, yeah, you can see that it probably really shook it up here. There was no tsunami, no tsunami warning. And that was based on the depth of the earthquake. Yeah, it was very deep. 142.6 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 88.6 miles below sea level. So if I lived in Japan, the northern part of Japan, I would be on alert for another earthquake because it shows that the uh, North American plate is moving. On Geoscope, they say it was a magnitude 7.0. Here you can see that part of the North American plate moved uh, southeast slightly. And yeah, we got dipping down here. Here's another image they have of the uh, moment tensor ball that's given to us by uh, Geoscope. A Twitter post shows how it was detected there in London. Now Stefan Hicks says it was an ultra slab bending event in subducted Pacific Plate. His initial report said it was 100 kilometers deep, um, so it would be widely felt across northern Japan. With so many changes going on in the world, everyone should be prepared for a disaster, be it civil unrest, um, earthquakes, tornadoes, flooding, um, storms, or viruses. You should be prepared before the event happens, so you're not rushing out along with all the other people and putting your lives in danger. I want to thank everyone very much for their support. I'm also on BitChute. I'm putting a couple videos on there that YouTube would not allow. I also have them on my Patreon account. If you're a Patreon member, you can watch it for free. And of course, it's uh, free on BitChute too. I'm also on Twitter and PayPal. Yeah, there's been a lot of censoring going on. I'm sure they'll allow this one, but some of the other more controversial um, articles that I do, yeah, they actually removed one of them. So please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.